Okay, picture this. Imagine this in your mind's eye. You eat a piece of fruit. You eat a piece of bread. You eat some more carbohydrate-containing foods. It goes into your intestinal tract. You break it down. You digest it. And it's driven into your blood where it becomes blood sugar or glucose. Glucose. Now, the world believes that glucose is not a health problem. They're still stuck in the idea that it's fat and cholesterol that cause our, our health problems. And that's what we've heard for 50 years. So the glycation theory of disease and aging first came onto the scene in 1987. Now imagine what happens. This glucose will bind to all the proteins that make up your body. It grabs onto them. That's a glycated protein. That glycated protein binds to the one next to it. So imagine this going on in one of your blood vessels. Glycated protein binds to the one next to it, binds to the one next to it, and you literally glue yourself together. Now, these glycated proteins damage the tissue. This is what atherosclerosis is, damaged blood vessel. And what cholesterol does is comes along and plugs up the hole in the vessel. That's the purpose of cholesterol. And it was found there, and therefore cholesterol was blamed for the heart disease problem. It never was cholesterol. It was always the glycated protein. And we still don't know anything about glycated proteins. I mean, in, in general, our doctors don't, our health experts don't, yet there's 7,000 published papers on glycation and how it affects and causes disease processes. So we've got to be really, really careful about how many carbohydrates we consume. And it does not matter the type of carbohydrate. Fruit, grains, sugar, they're all the same. They all become glucose. And it's the glucose that causes all the problems. So we need to take a different look at what's going on with our health and reevaluate what we've heard and make some different choices in the foods that we eat. Or you are going to have health problems, particularly as you age, because these are all the diseases of aging that are occurring. And this is the disease process that we're all going through. So it's a major issue. And you need to know more about it. And you need to know what to do about it. And that's what this book is all about, the glycation factor. What is glycation? How did it come about? And what are the solutions that you can use to help avoid this decay process? I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. Read the book.